Thank you again for tuning in to Will Mega TV. Please subscribe, click like, drop your thoughts in the comments area, and if you really want to see us continue to push out great content, support us. Cash app Will Mega. That's dollar sign Will Mega. Dollar sign Will Mega. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Peace, everybody. It's uh, it's an honor to be here. No, oh, thank you, thank you. I, this is like home now. Wilmington is like home to me. And the other library branch is beautiful. And to come in here today and to see this be these beautiful pictures on the wall, these beautiful books on the shelves, and see all of you beautiful people here is really something special. To open up a library at a time where they're trying to close libraries, they're trying to shut down schools, they're trying to hide books from us, they're trying to erase our curriculum. And instead, here in Wilmington, we're doing the opposite. We create space. And, and that doesn't happen, that doesn't happen by accident. It takes struggle. Everything we've ever gotten as a people has come from struggle. Every curriculum we've opened up, every school we've built, all of it comes from struggle. And the struggle right here, we'll tell a big part of it is this brother right here. Jamal, please give him a round of applause. I, uh, I have a career in media and a career in academia. And before I did any of that, I was at the kitchen table. I was about three years old. And uh, my mom came home. She was a school teacher in Philly, and she would borrow books from school. We still got them books she borrowed. I thought all books started with property in Philadelphia School District. But I opened up the book, and I read, and some of y'all old enough to remember Dick Jane and Spot. See, Spot, run, go, Spot, go, Dick Jane. It was this whole family of just deliriously happy white people. <laughs> but I learned how to read. Yeah. But what I didn't learn was that we had families, that we had imaginations, that we had stories that could be in those books, that we were eligible to be written into history. But it wasn't because we didn't do it. We got a long history of, of writing. You go anywhere around this country, you find a Phyllis Wheatley YMC or usually YWCA. Phyllis Wheatley was the first African American to publish a book. First, first poet, but also the first person to publish a book, man or woman. And when she tried to write poems on various subjects, religious and moral, the first thing they did was say she couldn't write this book. This black woman, 16 years old, Senegalese of Waldorf, they said she couldn't have wrote this. So they had a trial for Phyllis Wheatley. They said, did this black girl write this stuff? Did she? really write that letter to General George Washington? Did she really write that elegy for a fallen soldier? Did she really write that poem on being brought from Africa to America? He said it ain't possible for her to know Greek. It ain't possible for her to know Latin. And so all these people from Thomas Jefferson to the Wellesley's to the Oval, all these people whose names is now these fancy white colleges that also don't let us in, they put her on trial, but it wasn't just her on trial, it was black people's intelligence on trial. It was black people's literacy on trial. They didn't believe we had the ability to do this stuff. But what did we do? We did it anyway. Yeah. The world knows who you are. Mm -hmm. The world knows what you're capable of. They said, y'all can't read and write, but they made laws so that we wouldn't learn how to read and write. Mm -hmm. They knew who you were. They said you were lazy, but made you slaves. They said you were dirty, but had you clean their houses. They said you were uncivilized, and we raised their children. Mm -hmm. They know who you are. But now, but now, we have to remind ourselves of who we are. That's what's in those books. And once again, those same children they say are violent, those same children of ours, our babies that they say aren't capable of doing anything in the world, they're doing everything they can to make sure we don't go in those libraries. They do everything they can to make sure those history books stay closed. Or if they open them, then they got the wrong things in them. So now, just like when we were running from plantations, just like when we were fighting in hush harbors to read our Bibles and our Qurans, just like 
when we were building schools, just like when we were doing everything we could to get into those school districts, not because we thought our IQs would go up when other people were there, but because we knew books would be there. Just like at those moments, this is another moment where we have to fight for the soul of our community. We have to fight for the spirit of our community. We have to avenge our ancestors by reading every single thing we can. So you can give them Dick James' spot, that's cool. We should read about white people, we should read about black people, we should read about everybody. I, I learned a lot from Dick James' spot. I did. I learned a lot from... Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret, Judy Bloom. Can you imagine being this six-year-old boy reading ahead of his grade level in North Philly? I must, I must, I must increase my bus. <laughs> But I learned some things from these books. But then I found my own people. I found my own tradition. I'm so happy to be talking to my dear sister Eliasa because I opened up the autobiography of Malcolm X. And I ain't been the same since. It transformed my life. It transformed the lives of hundreds of millions of people around the world. Not just the book itself, but the lesson inside the book which taught us that books had the capacity to transform your life. That reading and love had the capacity to transform your life. So what we're doing here at North Wilmington today is not just opening a library, although that's important. We are standing on the sturdy shoulders of our ancestors who opened the door for us to read these books, to write ourselves into history, and to fight another leg for freedom. So I want to thank y'all for coming. I hope y'all come upstairs and build with us. And again, I want to thank the one woman at the library for this historical team.